Welcome to our show, Auras: Reflections of Our True Self, Part One of Two. Have you ever felt deep positive, happy feelings, or sadness while meeting with someone or when visiting a specific place? Science tells us that all living beings have vibrant energy fields that surround their physical forms. These fields, known as auras, encompass humans, animal, people, plants, trees, and even rocks. Auras are known to represent our emotions, state of mind, physical characteristics, and spiritual levels. The energetic spectrum of light, or in scientific terms, the electromagnetic field, can be sensed, felt, and in some special cases, seen by others. A person's aura has the ability to experience all types of positive or negative conditions. Often, people can sense and exchange another being's auric field, which indicates their overall vibe. For thousands of years, artists in Europe and Asia have attempted in their paintings to capture the energy fields of lights or auras surrounding enlightened masters. These divine energies are represented as halos in the paintings. On the other hand, artists tend to display dark auras around persons inundated with sadness or negative emotions. The seven layers of the aura are classified as etheric, emotional, mental, astral, etheric templates, celestial, and spiritual. People's auras are all different and can change from time to time, depending on the emotional, physical, and spiritual states they experience. If we can see a person's aura, it will reveal the person's true character. The layers of the aura possess different colors, which can show up during an aura reading or in a special type of photograph. The color of each layer tells a lot about a person's character in terms of mental health, emotions, moods, and spiritual energy. Special cameras have been developed to produce aura photographs. One example is Radiant Human, a specially designed camera that can capture a person's individual electromagnetic field. Christina Longstell, founder of the Radiant Human Project, says. As human beings, we radiate a very low level of electricity that's otherwise known as an electromagnetic field. The camera uses hand sensors that pick up this energy field, and a proprietary algorithm matches this energy to a color. She further explains, "We're all broadcasting like radio stations without even knowing it." During a lecture in Taiwan, Formosa. Our most beloved Supreme Master Cheng Hai spoke about how we can't hide who we are, and that our aura reveals our state of being. We are transparent to the whole universe. Okay, there's nothing we can hide, really. Not to talk about people who has magic, or who has this、uh, clairvoyant eye that they can see your aura to know what kind of people you are. Okay. Your magnetic field says everything. Your aura says everything. Not to talk about that. Talk about invisible beings, the heavens and hells. Even they see you all. There's nothing we can hide, except ourselves. Choose vegan. What else is better for you, man? Thank you, dear beloved master, for your wise words, reminding us to be mindful of our thoughts and actions as heaven is always watching. We'll be right back after a prayer for a benevolent vegan world. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show, Auras: Reflections of Our True Self. More research on the topic of auras has been done by mystics, spiritual teachers, and people in other disciplines. The spectrum of colors in a person's aura reveals their true identity or personality. Whether they're in a good mood, feel happy, are in a constructive state of mind, or otherwise. As an example, brighter light layers indicates that a person has positive, uplifting vibes. Did you realize that apart from its physical health benefits, your diet can significantly?
can Lee affect your overall state of mental and emotional well-being and ultimately your aura? Recent medical and scientific studies have examined what we eat and how it affects our moods. Animal people that are slaughtered for meat undergo extensive trauma and pain. These feelings are absorbed and present in the cells of their meat. This negative energy is unseen by the naked eye while one is purchasing meat products from supermarkets or other grocery stores. The connection is simple science. When the meat is consumed, the vibration of turmoil from the animal people is transferred to the person who ingests the flesh. Our beloved Supreme Master Hai has spoken about how the vegan diet is free of this negative energy and that consuming animal people's flesh with turmoil embedded in their bodies and ingesting the flesh of the animal people, we are then taking in negative energy. Our body is a car that needs different fuel. Right. right. We have to put in fresh, living energy from vegetables and fruits yes. and yes. grains, not the dead corpses and filthy energy and rotten pieces of bloody dead meat that's full of antibiotics, full of fear and uh, horror in there also. Yes. This kind of energy, before they die, they torture them, they they know all that, and they even torture them physically as well. Yes. All their life is torture. So all that is embedded in their meat, and if you eat it, you can't have peace. Yes. You can't feel happy. Not truly happy. Yes. Yes. And of course you get sick. That is not for humans to consume so many antibiotics and mercury and what not in all the fish people. And salmonella, accidentally, whatever, wherever. Nowadays so much sickness already. Yeah, not to talk about COVID. Yes. Yes. Extensive research is being done on the mood elevating and mental health effects associated with consuming fruits, vegetables, and other plant-based fuel. A study published in Nutrition Journal in 2010 explains how favorable mood profiles were observed when animal people-based food products were avoided. Harvard Medical School psychiatrist and nutrition specialist Dr. Uma Nedu says, a plant-based diet can ultimately make a healthy gut, resulting in a happier life. The relationship between high-fiber diets and the reduction of anxiety, stress, and depression has been shown by Dr. Nadu, who further explains that a vegan diet consisting of anti-inflammatory foods such as fruits, vegetables, and animal-free fats creates a healthier gut microbiome, which in turn boosts your energy and mood. Our aura's colors reflect our mental, emotional, and spiritual level. Apart from following a compassionate vegan diet to nurture a good energy field around us, we also need to display good behavior and have positive vibes in order to ultimately have a beautiful aura. Let's hear again from Master on this topic. And the aura bespeaks what you are inside. That's why you can cheat maybe the big group of people or majority of people, but you cannot always cheat others, uh, special people who can see with their psychic eye. Yes, Master. With their psychic ability. Whatever is inside of us is manifested outside, on our heads or around the whole body. The people can see our aura, can read our aura, they will know what we are inside. Yes. And if the aura is dark or coffee color or murky color in any way, then people know inside is dark. Mm. Besides, some people have angels flying around them with them at all times. Some people have just devils flying around with them at all times, making them do bad things because they are good instruments for Satan, for the devils, to work with. Wow. That is a problem. So we have to make sure that we are pure inside. Our intention must be noble. Our purpose must be benevolent. And our love for others must be unconditional. Then our aura will be clear, uh, shining like the light, but more beautiful than normal light. 
Our deepest gratitude goes to Supreme Master Ching Hai for reminding us to be purer and more benevolent. We wish that all beings will soon coexist in a more loving and benevolent vegan world. I am convinced that the vegan way of life is the only sane way of life. Dr. Richard Simpar Baker, OBE, Vegetarian. Thank you, noble viewers, for being with us today. 